Hello and welcome to Cat's Cottage. I'm out here in the back and I am painting on or stenciling on my uh, window boxes. I've got some stencils that I already had, so I believe I'm just going to use those. You know, I can always paint that green paint right back over if I don't like it. But here's, I'm using uh, my little foam brushes. And this is a picture of uh, the stencil of some leaves with a few berries on it. I'm just going to try this out. I, I, this is some I already had. Um, I'm just going to, as you can see, I'm just putting a little bit of paint on this to press down on the front of that box. Getting a little more paint. I've already done some, so it's a little dry. Okay, now I'm going to take this over here and stick it right on the box. Now I've already you go down, find to see if y'all can see it. I've already gotten some on there. You can see now I'm gonna put this one on before it dries in the hand. Okay. Okay, if I do it this way, it's going to go up. It's not going to go down on both sides like I thought. Okay, I'm going to have to go up with this one. This way it's going to go up. Okay, just do it. And I'll figure out figure it if I like it or not. But I, if I don't like it, I'll just get that green and paint back over this. Ooh, didn't do good. That wasn't good. Wow, what happened in the middle there? What happened to the middle? I don't think I'm going to be able to come back over. That didn't turn out at all. A little bit messy. A little messy. Yeah. Okay. Maybe it can go up and down like that. Okay, I'm going to come back over here. And get some more paint. This is the paint that I had and that I painted on the balcony with. I painted the wall on my balcony. I've got some mosquitoes just wearing me out, but that's why I've got this flannel shirt on. Go back over here. Now, got one turned here on the back side. The way this box is set up, it is uh, angles out for the outside and flat to go against the house. So, and this is the big one for the big window. Okay, we'll just go down with you. Mm, this one's a little bit, going to be a little bit harder to do, I think. Oh, that ain't too bad. And then when I do the other one, it's going gonna, it's gonna to come upward. So, uh, okay. Let's go paint this again. 
I didn't really have a picture in my mind of what to put on those, so I think that's why I'm kind of confused a little bit because I didn't, you know, you like to get in your mind what you're going to do and what it's going to look like, but I don't seem to have it in my head. I don't have any real like flowers. These are just little uh, symbols, I guess. Okay, we're back over here on the same one. Hope y'all can see what I'm doing. Now this one's this way, and this one's going to come up. There's one thing, I've got plenty of green paint. If I don't like it, I can sure bring it, take it off. There. I don't know. Okay. Let's go over here to this last box. And I've already put the main stencil on there. So now all I have to do is two more of these. Just get over there quick before it dries on me. This sun out here is just blinding. Blinding, blinding. Okay, these two are alike. So on this side, on this side, it goes down. These are the two small ones. They're going to go on the two windows together. There. Oh, that's better. Shouldn't leave it on there so long. And then... And then it'll go up this way. Okay, I'll put a little more paint. Okay. You can you know, I, I can't see the screen. It's so blinding out here. Okay, and this side goes up. Okay. I still got to add more green paint. See, I need green paint along in there. Well, I don't know if I should come down here and put anything or not. I'll put it down here this way, and then that'll be that'll be one way up, one way down again. And I'll Let's see here. This is the real wide one that's going to go on the big, large window in the living room. There. Okay. Well, let me set that down and I'll get that green paint, I guess, and touch up. But the thing about this is, this is, this is made, you know, it's made of wood. So, and this is raw wood. And that means those uh, wood bees are going to head for this, and they're going to drill holes, and they're going to have a lot of fun with it. So I've got to paint, as I did over here, as I did over here, I've got to paint this whole thing. And I'm trying to get in all the nail holes, you know, the screw holes and all that. i got to get all that raw wood painted because uh, those bees will nest up in here, and I don't want that. You know, that's how you you can eliminate 
a lot of those wood bees is by just painting the painting the wood, you know. So um anyway, and I'm gonna rinse these off, take them in the house, rinse them off in cold water, and I'm gonna think about what I done and see if that's enough and that's what I have I, I wish I could put a little more color in it, but you know, I can get carried away. Um but anyway, that may be enough. I don't know. Looks a little plain. Uh, I don't know if if uh, I want to add some colored flowers in here. Or, I don't know. My intention is to put uh, uh, artificial flowers in here. I don't want any water or mud draining down onto the side. On the house, you know, down below the house since it's way up top. I don't want that draining down. And this is pretty heavy as it is. And uh, the uh, put styrofoam in there and, and silk flowers, fake flowers, fake Christmas decoration. And it won't be so heavy. So, but it, that's, that, was, that was my intention on that. So, but, um. I'll take these back in the house and I'll wash them off. I had some other ones, but I didn't use them. Now, uh, I don't know if I could put one of these uh, on the end down here with a different, different uh, style. Take one of these and that one's bigger than the box, bigger than the box. And then this one. Yeah. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. But here's one like that on each end or on the sides. I'm not sure what to do. And then I have this one. This one's small enough. Uh yeah, maybe I need to put one down here on each end or on the side. I don't know. Like that. Well, if I don't like it, I can always paint over it, can I? So maybe that's what I'll do. I'm going to get one. Let's go paint one of them and put it on there and just see how that'll do. Uh, see which one of these did we pick? This one's kind of small here. Uh, let me get some white paint. And here we are. Okay, we'll go over here and we'll put it on our first one. See how we go. There we go. Got my hand on it there. Uh, what about that? Okay, let's go back and try it one more time on the other side. I guess y'all could speed the video up if you didn't like it so slow and monotonous, you could speed it up.
That mosquito is determined to stay with me. I don't have too much pain on that. Okay, I guess that ain't bad. Ah, that looks better. That looks better without trying to get so much pain. Uh, let's hope we got enough paint here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not trying to put too much paint on there. Okay. See, the one with so much paint and then the one with less paint and some over here looks so much better. See, and that's putting a lot of paint on there. So, looks better with not putting so much paint. Okay, I'm going to do this one more time on here. And that should do it. All I, you know, need in the front is the, just three boxes. Okay. All right. Back over here. Ooh, that's the one with a lot of paint. That didn't do that good at all. Okay, let's come back with this one. Yeah. That's not, that ain't too bad. It's a little bit thin, a little bit faded, but that's all right. All right. Okay, I think that was what it needed. It just needed more on it. Uh, yeah, my house is white and dark gray, and my roof is green. So that that's enough. I don't want to get too carried away. I, that's enough for me right now, but uh, I still have to paint green, some more green. I got to paint down in here, down in there on that box. And I got to make touch up, make sure I hadn't, you know, missed anything on these. Uh, yeah, I got some missing here. Come back and get that with the green. Now, okay, I'll do that tomorrow. Probably do that tomorrow morning. Finish it up. Okay, those look clean enough. All right. Well, somebody's going to ask me now, what am I using? Uh, all my paint that I'm using is uh, Vespar. Well, Valspar. However you want to say it. I say Vespar, but it's V-A-L-S-P-A-R. And um, clean. Let me put my knife up and my put my both of them over here. Now, um, the question was, what 
color is this green and it's the same thing Valspar Duramax um, paint with a primer that's the word I was trying to remember primer it's exterior paint uh, with the primer in it it's not that real expensive it's not the real cheap it's kind of in between there I think that day they had a special now it doesn't have a name on it and I don't have that little card that comes with it now but what I've done and you can see in my back back here is um, I painted everything this dark green I, and I go for the words uh, evergreen which is a little bit light green forest green I usually go for the forest green you can see I got my storage building it's painted green this little add-on building that we added on I painted green my storage building back there is green and my one single fence there is green and I've washed this down green this lattice was washed down green with all that same it's a, it's not the same can of paint I, I look for that in those dark greens I look for that uh, that forest color forest sometimes might have a tendency to be all light light green so look for the um, evergreen that darkens I think but you just have to look and see uh, like I said I didn't save the card I don't have a card on that but uh, you can just kind of look and take your sample cards uh, and lay them in the area that you're going to paint and see how it turns out sometimes it changes you know when you lay it with certain lights and or, or I understand they have that um, uh, little cans that you can buy three or four dollars you can buy let me hold, hold on a second I'm gonna hammer this this white can down it's kind of sticking up yeah I want no air to get to them we all know what the paint Cans of paint are ridiculously priced, so I uh, I save all my paint, and every year I go through it and see what's gone, what's messed up. It don't it don't last as good as it used to. But uh, anyway, uh, I've got this video up a little bit longer than I did before, so that's good on my part. And um, I hope I hadn't bored y'all too bad doing that. So uh, I'll let you go and hope y'all have a wonderful rest of the day. Bye-bye.